All week we've had a gorillas takeover on the website, but what most people don't realise is that we had no choice in the matter. Tim Jones, editor of Guardian.co.uk Social Music, went missing last Friday, shortly after the website Firewall was attacked. The gorillas literally took over. Anyway, I made a few calls and managed to track Murdoch down in his hideaway at Plastic Beach. After lengthy negotiations, I got him to tell me where Tim was in return for an interview on this very Music Weekly podcast. Apparently they'd locked him in the stationary cupboard. So Tim, how was it? Not good, Rosie. It wasn't good. <laughs> I did not enjoy it. I could hear you and David slagging me off while I was uh, locked in there, saying <laughs> how much fun it was with uh, Murdoch in charge instead of me. And then I uh, had to listen to you pumping out Paolo Nutini on the stereo all week. That's what you do, isn't it, when I'm not there? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we do. <laughs> well, anyway, I've got some good news for you. In order for me to find out where you were, I had to make a deal with Murdoch. He told me which stationary cupboard you were in, and in return, he'd get an interview on Music Weekly. And uh, he wants you to look after it. Great. Look <laughs> okay. forward to that. Well, he's on, he's on line one now. Don't annoy him further, or you'll be back with the staples. OK, all right. Gorillas in the boss doll, planet of the apes. OK, Murdoch, I'm prepared to forgive you for all of this kidnapping malarkey. Hmm. Yeah, but you've got to give me some good quotes in return. So let's let's talk about your new album, Plastic Beach. Uh, Snoop Dogg's on the title track. I didn't know dogs and monkeys like working together. Um, Snoop is unveiling the show here. He's the uh, the boss dog, you know, mine host, the introductory MC, if you will. As you land on the island, he welcomes you aboard, you know, to the world of the Plastic Beach. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. Snoop's the is the granddaddy, isn't he? Doggy Star was for many people the record that really made the leap for them, you know, introducing them to rap and G-Funk, along with Della Soul, who did the same kind of crossover with uh, Three Foot High and Rising. It's a kind of a lineage from Sly and the Family Stone, the idea of mixing genres, styles, peoples, continents, and bringing it all together to form something fresh and vibrant, something colourful. This is a proper soundtrack. Yeah. Brass-laden, pimped-out plastic funk, mixing the organic with the plastic to form something new and shiny. And who better to open up this world than Snoop? Do you get me? Push peace and keep it in motion. You've worked with British rappers as well. On the track White Flag, you've got Kano and Bashi. I spotted Kano when Damon worked with him on a track called London Town. And I like to keep my ear to the ground. I can't really help it sometimes because quite frequently I wake up to find myself slumped there. On the ground. Yeah. So I took them over to Plastic Beach and gave them a pen and paper, put the mic to their faces and said, Do it! You know, say what you see. And they described the scene as if they just hit town like a lonely cowboy or a whirlwind, a, a grimy wind blowing dancehall music over Arabic orchestras, just like that. I think, though, that Kano and Bashi nailed the optimism and potential of Plastic Beach just right in their little skit. Probably my favourite track on the album, <laughs> apart from all the others. Let's talk about Stylo, which we featured on Singles Club recently, as I'm sure you well know. This time you're working with the legendary Bobby Womack and Muff Steph. Stylo, yeah, this was the first single to come off this album. And in fact, this one got stolen just weeks before the release. Some pirates shot up my island and nicked it, then leaked it online. I mean, you can't plug holes like that anymore in the brave new digital world. This is a, a new sound for Gorillaz, an electro-ish crack funk sound with a little bit of politics and a lot of soul going down. With Stylo, I wanted the music to feel euphoric whilst still putting across how precarious our tightly packed situation is now worldwide. I think you can hear that in Bobby Womack's chorus. He just explodes into the track. I mean, how good is it to get Bobby Womack on the record? This was his first recording that he's made in 15 to 20 years, so what an honour. On Sweepstakes, which also features Moss Def, is that the hypnotic brass ensemble providing the backing? 
Why, yes, Sherlock, I believe it is. The Hypnotic Brass Brothers give us that full-on Chicago brass muscle, turning this track into a Quincy Jones version of hip-hop. MC superlatively by Sir Most Definitely. Yeah, Most Def, an absolute gem. I first met him in the box club on the Lower East Side in New York City. I went over there to find him to try and get him on the record, you know. I like his rap work. And I saw him in Be Kind Rewind. So, yeah, I thought we needed that on the record, some uh, NYC perspective. Some old story yards, these and all the yards, mathematics and dealers and players and me. They say that they win, it's okay, well, let's see. 